I'm Tamara Holder, and this is Sports Court. Does the NFL have a painkiller problem? With me in studio is attorney Dominic Romano to talk about this possible lawsuit. And it seems kind of like this Anna Nicole Smith, Michael Jackson issue where doctors are just giving these players pain medication. But the difference is, is that they have to perform on the field. So do you think that maybe some of these injuries are related to their addiction to pain meds? The evidence seems to point in that direction. I mean, you have 1,300 players, according to the, the attorneys, coming forward and, and talking about various ailments, various problems. One player played with a broken foot for a substantial portion of the season, suffered permanent nerve damage uh, to his feet. Uh, another player playing with a broken leg. This medication puts them at ease, allows them to play, and the NFL either turned a blind eye or engage in a culture of coercion, as Marcellus Wiley said in an interview. Right. And should there be an independent uh, doctor or trainer that's hired by the NFL? How do you fix this? Well, you would think so. The NFL, as we know, is a highly centralized league and, and exercises a great amount of control. And typically, players are trained from a very young age to put team above self, right? So on one hand, they want to go out there and play the game at all costs. If they're breathing, they want to play. But it's up to the teams and the medical professionals to put controls in place and cautions in place and at least warn them. What about saying, this is, this is Vicodin, this is addictive, I'm not going to take this, I'm playing this game. You're a young man, game. you're a player. But you're right? a man. But you're a man, sure. But everyone around you, it's, it's, there's no I in team, right? Everyone's saying we've got we to gotta be ready, we've got to play the game. You only, in the NFL, you don't have that many games in a season. And there is a culture of playing, let's play the game, and there's a culture of put yourself second, put the team first. So and play so the if, game, get paid, and then sue the NFL after you take the pain pills, after you get, get, get hit in the head because the idea is you have no other options in life? Look, that is a valid argument in, in as much as at a certain point the players maybe should have asked some questions, but the fact is the league and the teams that should have known better, that have a high profit motive to keep these players playing, did not step in. And